There it lay, until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <clears throat> There's no shipwreck or um, sea monster on the Octomap. Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa Hatch. Got it, Cap. The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. I must investigate further. Avast! There's the Cup D! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Ooh. This cave just goes on and on. What was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Hmm. Now, which way to go? Huh? Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. I Captain. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Yeah! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. 
I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh, you're a renipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. Ah, you're not from around here, are you? Oh no, which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one, then. This place is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes, especially since we've gone so deep inside. So, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yes. I think there's something alive in here. your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, We'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. Hmm. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashy can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Great work, Quasi. These guffs have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you were able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> make me new cleaning assistant. The pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. 
What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hotties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark! Shark! And his teeth are still dirty too! Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean! Clean and eat! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! <laughs> He's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the Gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right. Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me... The Claw! On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. But there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. Rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking! 
You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacle's out. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi? Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? We just head back to the octonaut and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, 
I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. That's right! Eat my ink! <laughs> I'm taking you down! Way down! I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. Ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air, so sooner or later they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. 
must go up here! Good work, Octonauts!